I know what you're thinking. What's she like off road? <laughs> Well, here we are, sports fans. Today's three-cylinder vehicle appears to have a um, Citroen badge nicely embossed into the roof on this little sporty lump here. First up, before we even start it, let's see what we've got. Very, very cheap, cheap, yummy plastic. That actually makes the top dashboard rattle. The car has no soundproofing in it whatsoever, so that's good. Other exciting features, blue teeth apparently, a little USB port just for charging your handheld communication device. Here we are sports fans. Today you join me in a Nissan Micra 1.2 three cylinder automatic. What I hear you cry. It is a CVT, continuously variable transmission, so it doesn't have gears as such. It's just got a rubber band between some cogs. It's a bit like a moped, twist and go. <laughs> it's incredibly noisy. 60 comes up in an insane 14 seconds. Steering feels really vague. There's like a constant vibration through the wheel, not in a sort of deft way like a sports car that lets you know what the front tyres are doing in a sort of horrible way that the power tool would have a warning telling you to wear gloves. Expect to get white fingertips if you drive this for too long. 3000 RPM, floor the throttle. D no nothing happens. <laughs> it makes lots of noise. So once you're up to speed, the engine sort of backs off to about 1500 RPM. With it being CVT, there's no engine braking, it just rolls along, which saves fuel. The seats are incredibly firm, very small squabs, squabs. I've sat on more comfortable toilets. Maybe I'm being too harsh, I mean, this, this car does 50 miles to the gallon, so I think if it were mine, I'd never have more than a gallon in it because I wouldn't want to do 50 miles. In fairness, rather like a moped, it does pick up to 40 miles an hour or so. I can't believe I'm saying that about a £10,000 car. Picks up the 40 really well, but then once you're doing 40, so at nearly £10,000, I I wonder if they did any NVH work at all developing this car. It's 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 not. I mean, we're doing 40 miles an hour now because it's a speed limit, um, and it's just so noisy in here. I know it's got blue teeth and a USB hole. It, it's just everything feels so cheap and mismatched and it pitches. <laughs> this car pitches back and forth. The tiniest imperfection. Right, here we go from a standstill. That's 40. <laughs> it does sound exactly like half a Porsche 911 engine. Man there with his bonnet open. Or his hood, if you're watching in America. Driving his automobile with the hood open. Whilst delving through the controls of this marvellous vehicle, I found a button with sport written on it. Shall we push it? Yes, sport has come up on the dash. Go. Sport mode. Go. And 40. That's incredible. Curiously, the brakes are quite good. So once you've wheedled your way up to 40, getting back down is no problem. Just leave it here, I think. Carry on on foot. 
Shouldn't take too long to get home. At least it's quieter. Eh? 